Hey, nature enthusiasts and curious minds out there. Today, I'm diving into a topic that might make your skin crawl a little. I'm talking about none other than the giant venomous flying spiders known as Joro spiders. Yes, you heard that right. So what's the buzz about these arachnids that are making headlines? Well, let me break it down for you. Originally from Japan, these formidable spiders have made their way to the southeastern US. And now, they're setting their many eyes on the northeast, including New York. These aren't your average spiders. The female Joro spiders boast a leg span of about 4 inches and can live up to 12 months. Imagine that, a spider as big as a common house mouse floating around for a whole year. Now, before you start panicking, let's get one thing straight. They're called flying spiders, but they don't really fly. They balloon. This means they use their silk to catch the wind and glide through the air. It's quite fascinating from a scientific perspective, but I get why it might be unsettling to see them gliding into your backyard. Jason DeBiasey from Rochester Pest Pro and a board member of the New York State Pest Management Association has been keeping a close eye on these creatures. He mentions that while Rochester hasn't seen any of these spiders yet, areas like New York City and New Jersey might already be playing host to them. Their mode of transportation? Mostly through trucks and shipments that inadvertently carry these eight-legged stowaways. And here's the kicker. David Coyle, an invasive species expert at the University of Clemson, pointed out that these spiders could potentially inhabit most of the eastern U.S. Their native environment in Japan closely matches the climate of North America, which means they could spread even further. But how will they fare during the harsh northeastern winters? That remains a big question. Survival through the cold months could dictate the spread and impact of these spiders in coming years. So what does this mean for you? First off, while it might be a bit scary to think about these giant spiders in your neighborhood, they aren't considered a major threat to humans. Their venom isn't potent enough to cause serious harm to humans, but as with any spider, it's best to avoid them if you can. Awareness and education are key. Knowing that these spiders can balloon over long distances, it's wise to keep an eye out and maybe ensure your windows have good screens to block any accidental visitors. And remember, while it's easy to get caught up in the fear, these creatures are also part of our ecosystem. They play their role just like any other animal or insect. That's it for today. For those of you intrigued by these creatures, keep following for more updates as we track the progress of the Joro spiders. For the rest, maybe it's a good time to invest in some good screens for your windows. Stay curious and stay safe, everyone.